All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the new Accelerated Battle category team on Global. Now, for those of you that haven't seen my summoning video from yesterday, I highly recommend that you go check it out because it was absolutely insane, guys. It might've been the best LR summoning session I've ever done in the history of this channel. Obviously, I pulled the Goku and hit, but there was also a lot of other stuff pulled in that video. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it's definitely worth the watch. Um, but with that said, let's uh, jump right in here. We got the double LR Goku and hits as the leaders. Unfortunately, mine is only at 55% with no dupes, but the friend is at 100%. So it's kind of like a 55% versus rainbow comparison as well. And uh, the rest of the team consists of the LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. We have Fizz Vegito Blue, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the AGL Transforming Goku, and finally the newly Extreme Z Awakened Tech Hit. The event is the new Super Warrior Tech Team stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. And uh, yeah, let's do this. So first rotation, it looks like we do have one of the Goku and Hits. Let's see if it's mine or the friends. Okay, so it's mine. So what I'm probably gonna do is actually float this one because as you guys might know, this unit does slightly different things depending on where it is in the rotation. So in the first and second slot, they're more of a defensive unit. They're still able to do good damage, but they're more geared towards defense. Whereas in the third slot, they're much more defensive, but slightly less offensive or rather, no, switch that. They're more offensive in the third slot, but less defensive. So uh, anyways, with that said, let's give these guys some orbs. That's going to be an 18 key super for the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. And let's get an 18 key super for the Goku and hit. There we go. Now I am a little bit worried that we might hit too hard and the uh, Goku and hit might not be able to actually attack this turn. But we'll see. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Now, hopefully, Vegito Blue doesn't additional too many times. That's one additional. And you're done, right? Oh my god, okay. Three supers. You're kidding me, yo. <laughs> the one time, the one time I don't want Vegito Blue to super multiple times, he does. Well, it is what it is. Um, on this turn, we have the Goku and Hit with one of their best link, actually the best linking partner in the game, the Tech Hit. They share six links together. And uh, let's give these guys some orbs there. That's gonna be a 24 key super after they uh, launch their attack because they get key plus five. Wait, is it key plus five or key plus six? They get key plus six when they super. So that's gonna be a full 24 key super, and we should see some pretty nice damage here. Okay, so they're not gonna dodge that. They do have a high chance to dodge in the first or second slot. Didn't get it there, but they tanked that pretty well. And we got just under 5.5 million attack. Why good? Honestly guys, as much as I dislike the uh, super attack animation, specifically the 18 key super for this unit. I gotta say, based on the limited use that I've uh, gotten out of them, they've been pretty impressive, man. They, they've honestly been really impressive. Uh, one of my, I would say one of my favorite new units over the last couple of months. I mean, Leafla and Kale were okay. Uh, the Goku and uh, Piccolo were a little bit underwhelming, but the Goku and Hit have been really, really solid. No, more than solid. They've been just really impressive. But I gotta go back to the fact that, like, they did them kind of dirty with the animations. I know I've said this so many times now. I'm sure a lot of you guys are annoyed at my complaints, but I would just like this unit so much more, guys. I mean, like, performance-wise, they're great. They get good defense. They have high chance to dodge. In the third slot, they hit super hard with the additional super, too. 
there are so many things to like about this LR. It's just the animation that gets me, man. It's just the animation that gets me. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about it, I promise. That's the last time I'll complain about it. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's keep my Goku and Hit in the first slot. Because I really want to see how hard the, uh, Rainbow Goku and Hit can, can hit in the last slot. So... My Goku and Hit taking a super at 55% once again. That's gonna be rough. Okay. Yep, that was kinda rough. I wasn't thinking about that. I maybe should use an item. Not a big deal. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um Did we get stunned? No, we didn't get stunned. We got sealed, right? I think we got sealed. That's unfortunate, but at the very least, we will get to see the rainbow hit and Goku. Let's see here, 7.3. Now, this unit is kind of like the SSB Vegeta, where for some reason their attack stat just like appears for a brief second. It sometimes doesn't even appear. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, we did catch it there. It was about 7.3 mil, which is a big jump from when they were in the first slot. So like I said... It's kind of a different unit depending on where you place them in the rotation. Uh, they're good in both situations. It just really depends on what you're going for, right? If you want more defense, if you want the dodge chance, first and second slot. If you want a lot more attack, uh, because they also get the additional super too, or the additional attack with a chance to be a super, then put them in the third slot, and they can hit really hard. So uh, overall, just a very good unit, guys. A very good unit with maybe one flaw which I'm not really gonna talk about but uh, you guys <laughs> you guys know what I'm referring to okay uh, should I pop an item here I feel like maybe I should cuz um the Goku at the end is not gonna get a super and his defense isn't the best right now so maybe we should just like play it safe use like a princess snake or something like that why not? Why not? Better safe than sorry, guys. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Okay, so that's gonna be a 24k super for my 55% Goku and hit. Uh, I kind of missed the attack stat. I think it was around 4.2. I think around 4.2 million. And the tech hit is a good linking partner, but unfortunately on this event, he won't be able to get his full potential because uh, we don't have, I don't think we have any other Universe 6 units and he does rely on Universe 6 units in the same rotation to get his boost. And we also can't stun the enemy, so we can't get that big additional attack boost. But as you can see, nonetheless, he's still doing some good damage. Anybody that says hit needs to be able to stun to, uh, actually putting work is just straight up wrong, right? I mean, that was before the EZA, right? Before the EZA, he really needed the stun to do anything of value. But now with the Extreme Z Awakening, even if he's not getting that a uh, counter, I think we got a counter, right? Yeah, got a counter. Yeah, even if he's not getting stuns off, even if you don't bring other Universe 6 units with him, he still does quite well. I mean, I think 3.6 mil per super, is, is good enough, especially for getting that additional super, and there's really no reason to not build him with a lot of additional. So he should be getting additionals fairly frequently, so yeah man. They they did tech hit justice. That's all I wanted to say. They they really did well for my boy hit. Alright, so now we're on Kale and Khalifla. I think this is the second last no so after this, we have the Blue Boys and then the GT Trio. So two more stages after this, but we're making good progress. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna not use an item this turn. I think the Goku and Hit will be fine, since they do have the dodge chance. But more than likely, if they get super, they're probably not gonna dodge that super. We'll see though. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, please. Oh, they did not prove me wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. 
That was unfortunate. That was a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> Why are they not dodging, guys? <laughs> Am I just getting really unlucky, or is there something I missed? Is there a condition that I need to meet for them to dodge? Or does the game just hate me? Does this unit just hate me? I, I don't I don't I don't know. Cause I was under the impression they had a high chance to dodge. <laughs> but I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not so sure anymore. Let's see this. Uh Goku and hit. K plus six. Attacks guaranteed to hit. Disables enemies guard. And high chance of evading enemies attacks. Oh, as the first or second attacker, right? They have to attack first. And then they get the... Of course. I get that mixed up sometimes. Um, so that's my mistake. They can't actually dodge before they attack. So that, that makes sense now. That makes sense now. They still should have dodged that attack after. I'm just saying. But it is what it is. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, let me... Let me pop that active skill for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and uh, he should be able to either kill, 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 kill and Khalifla, or at the very least, uh, put a nice dent in them. Here we go. Here we go. 5.1 mil. Yeah, this is a great category, guys. Um, I've mentioned this before. I think it's pretty comparable with the uh, Kaelin Khalifla category recently. What's it called again? Oh, Bond of Friendship. Yeah, Bond of Friendship. And, uh, you know, you got a lot of options in this category, like the Gogetas, the uh, couple of Vegitos. You got the, like, Int LR Vegito, the STR LR Vegito. Um, the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, you got the UI Gokus, so you can really build a very, very powerful team with this category. Um, I don't think we need to use an item this turn. I don't believe so. I should have saved those STR orbs. That's my mistake, but uh, it's fine. And we're getting a token attack, actually. I missed that. Okay, so we're getting supered again, but we're going to take this one a lot better because we do have type advantage. Uh, hopefully around 100k. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> Let's focus on getting this token attack off properly. One, two. Oh my god. That was fast, man. That was fast. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Maybe I should have put the rainbow LR. No, actually this is fine. This is fine. The Rainbow LR, I think, will finish the job. Like, this is going to do a good amount of damage. And then once we get to the Rainbow LR, their attack stat should be easily over 7 mil. And, uh... That should be able to do it. That should do it. But as I was saying, yeah, this category is just really good. Um, it's actually pretty similar. Uh, I was looking at the Bond of Friendship category and the Accelerated Battle category. And yeah, they're, they're pretty similar to each other. Uh, the main differences, I guess, would be like the guys traditionally known for their speed, like Birder, Dispo, um, and a few other guys are in there, which are not in the Bond of Friendship category. Obviously, the hits um, are not in the Bond of Friendship, but I think they're both really good categories. I would say... I still don't know which one's better, man. How about they're just both really good? They're just both really good. Alright, we're on the last stage here. I think we should be okay for defense, but just to be safe, let's pop a Whis. And Vegito Blue is going to put in a lot of work with those counters. So that should be a good time. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're getting supered. The Whis was definitely a good idea. <laughs> Why do we keep getting supered in the first slot before we get a chance to attack, man? It's not cool. See, of course when I want him to super four times, three to four times, he doesn't. But in that first turn, when I was like, bro, just like chill out, let me, let me, you know, see the Goku and hit attack. 
He's like, nah, bro. I'm gonna super three times and kill Goku and Bulma. Like this game sometimes, man. This, this game just pisses me off sometimes. But it's fine. It's not a big deal. We should be able to finish things off in one or two more rotations. And uh, that's gonna be the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the accelerated uh, battle team. Of course, I could have gone in a couple of different directions. We could have, you know, selected like a few other combinations, but I decided to go with this one because, uh, well, number one, it's fun. It's a really fun team. And also, if I brought the UI Gokus, it would just be kind of like the last showcase, right? Because I use the UI Gokus for Bond of Friendship, and I feel like those guys, while being amazing, of course, are a little bit overused at this point. So we changed it up a bit. We brought the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. We brought the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Vegito Blue. And uh, as you can see, they do extremely, extremely well. I think Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku will finish this now. Or come very close. If he if he crits, then definitely. No? Okay. That is fine. You know what? We're gonna let the STR Goku and Hit finish the job since it's their category anyways, so it's only appropriate. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed today's team showcase. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. You join the Tiger Squad now, and uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, I hope you guys have a awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.